Hello strangers, long time no see. I have to apologise for not being around for weeks on end. I was taking a break for the Easter holidays, I went home from uni and saw family and friends and sort of chilled out for a bit and got away from life. And then when I came back I got thrust straight into gigs and concerts and rehearsals and mad stuff so I've actually just plucked up the courage for half an hour before I have to go out to talk to you because I've missed you. So today I thought I'd just talk about my favourite things and yeah it's not really scripted I haven't written any notes for this video I just decided to go for it <laughs> so I hope you enjoy it I'm just going to take you through some of the things that I like about right now in my life. The first one is this book. This book. I was always a bit of a book fiend when I was younger and up to about the age of 12 I read constantly. My best friend at school had to wander around and like direct me in the direction I needed to go so I didn't crash into anything in the corridors because I had my head constantly here and a book right in front of my face. Um, and then life sort of hit and I got into more music stuff and school sort of took over a little bit and I just, I just stopped and it was really sad but I just, I'd stopped. Everyone has that bit at night just before you go to sleep where you normally sit and read a book and it got to the point where I'd been so busy throughout the day and I hadn't had time to sit and read on a bus or sit and take time out for a little while. And when I actually got to bed, the only thing I wanted to do was collapse into it and sleep. So that sort of half hour window of reading was gone. But even so, this book is one that I first read when I was 11. It was the first book that I took out of the senior school library. And it tells the story of two people trapped in Leningrad in 1941 when World War II is on, um, and the siege of Leningrad, um, and how they fare and how they get out, and it's part, it's the first in a trilogy, and it takes you through these two people's experience of the worst the 20th century has to offer. It's just a fabulous book, and I had never read a sort of epic romance, but also true history type novel before, and this just blew my mind. I've now read it at least 10 times. Um, I had a break after a bit of a nasty breakup where I couldn't really look at it, but I've gone back to it and I've read it for the first time again in a couple of years quite recently and I forgot just how much I love this book. So if you're looking for something to read and you want to get lost in it for hours and hours and you want it to take over your life, then read this book. It's called The Bronze Horseman by Paulina Simons and it's been uh, published by lots of people so there's lots of different covers. Um, the type is quite small and there's about 700 pages. It is an epic in the best sense of the word, um, but it's brilliant and I would urge anyone who likes a little bit of romance, even secretly, and wants to get lost in one of the best pieces of literature in my mind. So, so yeah, read that. You've got some nice sunny days now that we're getting into summer. Um, go out and sit in the back garden and read it for five days straight. It's great. And that was the other thing I wanted to talk about was sunshine because since the sun came out two days ago I have done nothing but lie in it and suddenly the whole world feels about ten times better. It's just amazing. I mean I paid for it, I'm very very burned, you can't see it very well on the camera but I went a dark dark beetroot colour, I mean my skin just does not do sun well but it will eventually turn into tan and I don't regret it for a second because it was just gorgeous. I took the third book in this trilogy, funnily enough, and sat and read it out in the sunshine and got frazzled but loved it. It's just reminded me of how good summer is and how much I love summer and how much it's going to come back. <gasps> and I'm excited and on that note makes you feel a lot better. Well yeah music, that's what I was going to talk about. I'm not very good, maybe it's an effort thing or it's just an indecisive thing, but I'm not very good at putting together my own playlist and taking the time to put together particular bits of music to put me in a certain mood or for a certain event or anything like that. I'm not one for doing that. 
So ever since I took up my Spotify Premium account, I just enjoyed the fact that you can scroll through all their playlists and they've made one for almost anything. And the Great British Breakfast one is just my life right now. I've had it on repeat for days. <laughs> because it's just a really nice mix, as is Falling In Love. That's also a lovely playlist. I'm a big country fan, so the fact that it starts with a Hunter Hayes tune is decent. Yeah, books and sunshine and good music combined are making life great right now. I hope your week's been good. Your weeks have been good for the last five or whatever it is since I saw you last. And I'll try and update you more regularly in the future. I hope you all had a lovely Easter and I'll see you all again soon. Bye.